Hello, everybody, and welcome to TeacherCast University. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Today, we have a very special edition of educational podcasting today, a video edition. Today, we're going to look at the new way that Apple wants you to submit your podcast, and we're going to look at the new Apple Podcasting Center to see how you and your podcasts can be taken to that next level. You're going to see in iTunes a few new things here. We have Submit a Podcast. This is nothing new, but now the new stuff here is we have Resources and Help. We also have Podcasting Collections, Featured Providers, an episode of the day on Twitter. Let's go through each of these and we'll take you through a complete tour of the new Apple podcasting system. First thing I want to do is submit a podcast. This is something that normally would happen all inside of iTunes, but let's see now what happens when I click on this button. So we can see here that iTunes Connect has opened up. Now, for podcasters that might not be familiar with iTunes Connect, it is a back-end system that iTunes has been using for years with their app developers, their iBook creators, and other content. And it's really, really nice to see that Apple has put this together for podcasters. So I'm going to be submitting my new podcast, and I'm going to be putting my name and my password in. You'll see that after I put my name in, I'm taking to a place that has all of my podcasts here where I can look at these and I can change all of the parameters to them. One of the new things about this is that you actually are able to change the RSS feed of a current podcast. This is something that we didn't have before. So I'm going to click over here onto the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Audio Network. And you'll see here I have my name. I have the URL of my feed. I have the mirror URL. I have the status that it's active and when it was last refreshed. This is a lot of information that Apple has previously not made available to us. Over here on the top left, I can toggle whether I want to see this in grid view or table view. You can see all the podcasts that you are the owner of and other podcast information. So what I want to do now is add a podcast to our podcasting network here. So I want to click up here on the plus. And again, they've made it really easy. This is very similar to what was in iTunes. I'm going to put my RSS feed in here. I'm going to validate it. I'm going to submit. And it's going to give me the same screen that shows that Apple has accepted my show. I don't have one of those right now, but this is how you're going to be putting in your podcasts. One of the new pages here under iTunes Connects is our resources and help. They've got a great search bar here with a bunch of answers. We can learn all about creating podcasts, finding your image requirements, best practices, testing your podcast, and so much more. Here's our page for all the requirements. Tells you a little bit about how your podcast should be set up before putting into iTunes. Here are some best practices that I highly recommend you take a look at about your enclosures, your RSS feeds, your episodes. Up here talks to you a little bit about how you test your podcast, how you make sure everything can successfully download. Here's a validator uh, website that I highly recommend doing it. And then also here is the requirements for submitting your podcast like we just went through. One of the other neat things about this is that it has the submission status. This is a question that maybe came up, oh, I would say maybe more than once a week with us here, of what does the podcast status mean? Why would it be submitted? Why would it be rejected? And here is a good indication of if you get f failed validation, here's the indicators and how to fix it. So you can see here Apple is really jumping even deeper into the podcasting realm and helping us out to make sure that our shows are absolutely perfect. So that is our quick walkthrough of the new iTunes Connect podcasting menus. You can see there's still some growing pains here. I'll give you a quick example of something here I wouldn't mind seeing. Here is a feed that we had from a long time ago that you can see was rejected. I can't click on anything here. But over here, if I click on this live podcast, you'll see down here I have refresh, view in iTunes, hide podcast, and delete. Um, Apple doesn't make it quite as easy to delete things, I guess, that are rejected or have been uh, have been rejected in the past. So perhaps that will be a feature that they add on. But you can see here that P Apple has completely redesigned the way that podcasting is submitted and managed. This is a game changer, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions, you can certainly reach out to us here on TeacherCast. We will be updating this as we go. You can reach out to us on Twitter at TeacherCast. Leave us a voicemail at TeacherCast.net slash voicemail. Email us at feedback at TeacherCast.net. Or, of course, subscribe to all of our shows, as you can see here, on iTunes at TeacherCast.net slash iTunes. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Thank you so much for joining us here on the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network.